We're using a collaborative robot mounted on top of a mobile platform, which autonomously navigates the cell and simulates several jo jobs common to any uh, job shop, such as uh, machine tending, part kitting, and part washing. The key fan technology we're demonstrating here is the Higher Payload CRX robot, the one marker runtime offset feature. This is a new feature on the timeline editor, and it allows us to use a 2D camera to take several photographs of a standard IR vision calibration grid mounted to every station. We take several photographs of that grid, and that allows us to determine the position and orientation of the station in a couple of seconds. And all that is accomplished using just a 2D camera, no 3D required. We're also demonstrating uh, generic machine tending. Uh, so this is a robo drill, and obviously you can use whatever communication you want with a robo drill. For this demo, though, we tried to show machine tending with no communication. The mobile robot simulates a human operator as much as possible. So the mobile robot will dock with the station, use its camera to visually check the stack lights, tend the machine, and then when it's all done, physically presses the cycle start button and checks the stack light again to verify the machine is running in production before leaving the station. Uh, this shows you can use this feature, this approach, with any CNC machine. It does not have to be a fanex specific product. After finishing the robo drill, the mobile robot will come to the inventory station. At the inventory station, the CRX is going to pull blanks out of the kitted trays and drop them into a magazine. After inventory, we're going to move to the washer station. At the washer station, we have hot, soapy water. Uh, the robot's going to shuffle the baskets down through the sinks, and once it's washed, it's going to hang them to dry. At the very end, it will pull the uh, basket of clean, dry parts off the washer and then continue to our fourth and final station, recirculation. At recirculation, the robot will take the basket of clean, dry parts, insert it into the rotary mechanism, and then dump the parts out into the storage system. 
Uh, at that, the cycle completes and it will repeat.